So what is this thing about glissandos? making a connection of notes from the lows to the high. To be able to do that, you, you can't do it with just your fingers, although you can try. That's kind of how I started learning it, with, by just slowly. I'm pulling my fingers off the clarinet. But while I was doing that, I instinctively started bending the notes and not having a specific pitch. And that's why a lot of uh, clarinet players have trouble with this. Of course, there are two things going on. You're sliding up, but you're also being very loose with your lips. And so you have to be able to, if you can take a clarinet mouthpiece or a saxophone mouthpiece and try to play a scale on it. It's almost a whole octave on a, on a mouthpiece. See, so when you're playing, you're doing kind of that in the reverse. You're going, Duh! It's not just fingers, it's like there's no sound inside of those sounds. In other words, that's two notes. I'm getting a C and a B out of the same C. So if you're trying to get a glissando and you're not being flexible, I'm doing a glissando just with my lip, all by itself. So be, being able to take a note like a C and play a B on it. And then you could take a B and play a B flat. And play a B flat and then play an A. So there I'm bending the note a whole half of a pitch. So if you're able to do that by just relaxing your jaw like I played the, the scale on the mouthpiece, To go that far in terms of pitch, that means you're, you're not just locked into just the note you're playing. You have a flexibility of going, hi, when you say hi, you're not afraid of doing that. You don't go, hello, I am a recorded announcement. This is a Bakun Super Series clarinet.